How can you modify the triage system that medical professionals use to treat people who are sick in order to help your project managers and project executives fight overwhelm? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So you're familiar with the triage system, right? It comes actually from um, the um, battlefield uh, medical officers. And what they do is when someone gets wounded, you evaluate them in one of three ways. Either they're going to die and all you can do is make them comfortable. They're going to live and they're not badly wounded and they can wait. Or they're wounded to, a, to an extent where if you intervene and give them some attention, it's going to save them from dying and is going to improve their outcome. And so obviously what you do is you comfort the people who are going to die. You, um, you delay working with the folks who aren't badly wounded. And then you focus all of your attention on the ones that are um, critical and can be helped. So take that idea of prioritization and let's talk about how to help your project managers and project executives fight overwhelm. Typically, um, especially this is particularly true if they're responsible for more than one project. Let's say you, they have on their books projects that are making money, projects that are losing money, plus they have other responsibilities in terms of improving processes and procedures and things like that. And all of these things are swimming around in their heads and it's often difficult for them to focus on what's most important. So this is what you do. Make sure that they're spending 20% of their time on those jobs that are never going to make money but they just need to be wrapped up and they need to be get, got off your books, so to speak. You need to fulfill that contractual obligation. Make sure they're focused on getting that punch list done, all the documents uh, buttoned up so that it can just be done and you can move on. Then have them spend 80% of their time focused on the jobs that are making money or which are going to make money as long as they get the attention that they need and give them permission to spend 80% of their time focused on those jobs and getting those up and running well and running smoothly so that you can profit from them. Then what you can do is as they're working on those jobs that are going to be, um, that are, are getting killed off, so to speak, what you can do is have them transfer that 20% of time to the bigger picture items, such as processes and procedures, and give them permission to spend time on those big picture items so that they're not getting overwhelmed with them and you're making pro uh, progress in terms of improving your organization. So that's how you can use that triage perspective or mindset to help your project managers and project executives fight overwhelm. I appreciate you watching this video. My name is Eric Anderton. Give me some comments down below in terms of what you do to help your project managers and project executives fight overwhelm. Give me any feedback that you have on this content and I appreciate you watching.